Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. So this um, gist is actually a good news, honestly. I'm super happy. Congratulations to Olua of Iwo Land. So this king and the wife you are seeing right here just welcomed their first child. Today, like early hours of today, they welcomed their baby. We don't really know um, whether it's a baby boy or a baby girl, but Olua of Iwoland took to his Instagram page to congratulate his wife um, for giving him um, a child this morning. He's super, super happy. And remember, this is not his first wife. Though he has um, divorced his first wife, remember this king. This king is a controversial king. This He actually became king uh, in 2015. Then he was around 40, 80 years. So now he is um, 50 something years, right? Yeah. So this is like, uh, is it eight years or seven years that he became a king? Let's say um, eight years he became a king. Yeah, January made it eight years that he became a king or seven years, I don't know. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, his first wife was actually from um, Jamaica. You know, um, when they divorced, there is a lot of saga between both of them on social media because the king took to his um, social media to announce that he's no longer married to his first wife, who is Chanel Chin. She's from Jamaica, but she was born and brought up in Canada. Um, then the woman also started her own um, social media wahala too. She taught a lot of things. She said she's not happy in, inside the marriage, um, that she don't have peace of mind. That, that was why she worked. In fact, they did a lot of videos. A lot of things were involved, which I'm not even going into details of those um past tense because this is a good news so today um Olua of if we were finally have a child because that time they were actually battling custody or something like that from the first wife so now he has a child that he can lay hands on and it's not even um quite long he got married to his new wife they actually got married on 19th of march 2022 last year so you can see is almost few um few months to one year that they got married that's when they welcomed their first child together i'm super happy for them congratulations like this king you are seeing right here has faced a lot of challenges in fact they they wanted to dethrone him um the other time but this man right here is very very strong honestly he has went through a lot his wife was his first wife was fighting him the other side the people of Iwoland was fighting him they tried to take the throne away from him you know they said he married in Yamene according to them they said he married um someone from Kano to be their queen that is never never done that he's the one bringing our Safulani people you know that kind of tribalistic talk you know all those things still he stood his ground that he will surely get um, marry this beautiful queen that is his wife right now actually the um this um beautiful queen of iwo land is actually from kano state um she is the granddaughter of late um, emir of kano that's ado bayaro so this is um his grand daughter and as you know they are very they are wealthy people like the family is very wealthy a lot of people were saying maybe the king went there because of the family has money or something like that i don't really see it like that i see it is love love can take you to um, a poor man's house love can take you to a rich man's house sometimes um um, when you are not actually the person in love, you might be saying that, oh, maybe he's in love or she's in love with the person because of the money or because of material things. You can never tell. Like, honestly, love is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I said beautiful things. So, when all these things were going on that time, hmm, the wife was this side, the first wife was this side, the ranting, the... Ha, 
especially last year it was the seat was so hot for him like his throne was a hot seat they nearly dethroned him but hmm, this man right here this king this oluo of iwo is a very strong man i think he should be in his um maybe he should be around 55 years right now mm, maybe he should be around 55 years right now or 56 55 56 years he's a very strong king and right now he's mingling with um he's a great supporter of tunubu actually a lot of yoruba kings supported tunubu um during the election so i just said let me come and tell you guys that Olua of Iwo has finally welcomed a child with his beautiful queen. Wow. If he, 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 he needs to see how people we are celebrating them on social media. In fact, some even went to the extent of changing their DP to the wife's DP. They are super happy. People that have met her said she's a kind woman, that she's simple, even though she's from a very, very wealthy family that she don't show it that you know she's very humble and they said the people of Iwoland love her a lot it was you know that time they were she was um about getting married to the king a lot of Yorubas said no our king can marry someone from the north this and that but right now they said a lot of people are seeing the goodness in her and she's really, really a very good woman. And she's nice to the people of Iwoland. I said, let me come and share this good news to you guys. Congratulations, Kabi Esio. May God bless the mother, child, and father. May God protect him or her. Because I don't really know um, the gender of the child. What I know is the wife just gave birth. And he just posted it on his Instagram story and Instagram page too. To celebrate his beautiful wife and his new child congratulations once again please my beautiful my handsome people let's congratulate them on the comment section let's wish them well pray for the child and you know all those stuff thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye